channel. I'm so excited about today's video. It's kind of just like what I do in a day basically, but more focused towards the aesthetic of that girl and making it realistic, how I kind of incorporate some of the ideas into my life and just my overall thoughts on it. Um, I have already done my skincare and got dressed for the day, which you saw. That's like my number one way to kind of wake myself up in the morning and get started on the right foot. I find that when I start doing other tasks before washing my face and before getting dressed for the day, I'm just a little bit less confident in my abilities to get the stuff done that I need to get done and all that good stuff. So, so so now that we've got those two things done, I start my day off with a green juice and recently I've been doing these ginger shots. If you guys want to know how to make these, I'm not going to bore you for the third video in a row. You can go back to my last video or my full day of eating. I believe the last video I do both of these, my Sunday reset and video before that I do the green juice. So if you want to check those out, I will link those down below. But that's how I start my morning. These can be a little bit spicy, a little bit give you that little zing but they are a nice way to wake you up so I'm about to take this and then I just sip on my green juice throughout my morning before I make my coffee I just noticed that that over there is a big mess so I straightened it up a little bit my apologies if that was distracting but that's how I like to start my morning some mornings I do yoga and some mornings I just take Winnie on a walk which is what I'm gonna do today and while I get dressed and do my skincare drink my green juice take Winnie on a walk I like to listen to something that's kind of like positive or just puts me in a good mood for the day so it's usually if it's on days where my favorite podcasts get released I listen to my favorite podcast currently Benchtopia is my favorite and has been for like over a year now So if you don't already listen to that highly recommend they never miss every single episode is good They're very clever funny intelligent and they really do their research and like put a lot of thought and effort into their episodes And I've learned so much from them and it's really shifted my perspective on a lot of things So I would check that out. It's not necessarily self-help, but it's more talking just about like the psychological aspects of our society why we do things the way we do why things are the way that they are it's very interesting so check that out but i've already listened to binge toby this week and i am going to get my birth control out in a couple weeks which i will be documenting here on this channel until that point i have committed myself to listening to an audiobook because i find that i probably won't get through the book entirely if i choose to read it um, before i have my appointment to get my next plan on taken out so i'm listening on audible i believe is the app um, to the audiobook beyond the pill and it's all about how the hormones in the pill or in birth control affect your body um, while you're on it, after you're on it, how to transition off of it, all that good stuff. So I'm really just trying to educate myself to get to that point where I feel confident um, and ready to take on this journey post birth control and balancing out my hormones, tracking my cycle, all that good stuff. But that's not what today's video is about. So we will get there when we get there. Later this month, there will be videos and probably for the rest of the year, I'm gonna do like updates and document my journey, struggles, triumphs, all those good things. But for right now, we're gonna take our ginger shot and drink our green juice as we take Winnie on a walk and listen to our book. So cheers. Ooh. Ooh. Like I said, it's got a little bit of a zinc to it, but it'll really wake you up and I find that it makes my stomach feel more calm in the morning. I made a comment at the end of my last video that I was just like really embarrassed about my skin and I still am. It's starting to clear up a little bit, but I've decided that for today's video, I'm just going to do the whole thing without any makeup on because sometimes I feel like when I put makeup on, it highlights the fact that I'm trying to cover something up and it makes me feel worse and I think sometimes it even looks worse. So we're going no makeup today and this week and probably the rest of this month, just trying to give my skin a break. I don't really have to go anywhere or do anything besides film myself and I need to get a little bit more comfortable just looking at my skin as it is because things come and go and my skin will change eventually, but it is what it is for right now, so I might as well get comfortable and familiar with it. So no makeup for today's video, sorry if that bothers you, but the comments on last video just made me feel like more confident and encouraged to just be my natural self and not worry so much about the way that I look because other people don't notice as much as you notice, as much as I notice about myself. So those are my thoughts, but I'm going to go get some fresh air because it's literally like 56 degrees here in the middle of February. And when you need some exercise also today well one year ago today i brought winnie home and we're just gonna do a little bit of pampering for her today i might take her to the pet store later let her pick out a couple toys i don't know but today is a celebration of winnie and i'm also just gonna show you how i kind of go about my day in that girl aesthetic but making it more realistic for you know our everyday life i'm not recording every single thing that i do 
usually for this video I am, but like for most days I'm not like recording myself doing everything and making them into trendy little flashy TikToks or anything like that, which I think is what the trend has turned into, but I've kind of taken some things away from it that I wanna chat with you guys about later, but for now, green juice and a walk and I will check in with you in a little bit. and I had to remove my sweatshirt because I unfortunately spilled my green juice on it just a little bit, nothing too bad, but it needs to go in the wash. So I'm wearing the Paws set from Gymshark. I think I've worn these in like all of my previous YouTube videos or my most recent YouTube videos because I am literally obsessed. Oh, my hair's sticking out. Um, but I just made some breakfast, egg whites and two pieces of toast with peanut butter and banana. I need to get a few groceries today. I did get some groceries earlier this week, but sprouts, deals don't start until wednesday and i got groceries on tuesday today is thursday so i'm going to place an order at sprouts and we'll go pick that up later but i just wanted to touch base with you all I'm also having my coffee so i don't want my coffee until after my green juice my shot all that good stuff and i tried to eat a couple bites of food before i started drinking my coffee just so i have something to kind of neutralize all of the acidity in my coffee there really isn't that much left in here taking these seed probiotics game changer i feel like my gut health is much better i also think that starting these prior to taking my birth control out is going to be helpful as i transition to having better hormone and gut health afterwards i've already started these i've already made it a habit i absolutely love these i'm actually going to be partnering with them later this month so i'm very excited about that i have bought these all myself for the last three months um, and i've just posted about them so much that they reached out and asked if i wanted to work with them on a little thing so i'm very excited about that so taking a probiotic every morning worrying about your gut health does make you that girl i recommend checking them out i don't believe i have a discount code with them if i do i will leave it down below but seed probiotics with my breakfast or first meal of the day is key to being that girl so now that i'm looking at it another key to being quote unquote that girl is having a game plan this little planner is from russell and hazel and it looks like this i like it because it has daily focus a to-do notes at the bottom and you can write in your own days at the top and I really like it. So every night before I go to bed, I try to fill this out with what my goals are and what my tasks are for the next day. So my to-do list is film YouTube, workout. There is a Gymshark launch that's happening today. So I had to put that on there to remind me. I have to film a video for my rest day on my 28 days of movement in my app. If you guys want to join for a dollar for the first month, I'll leave a link down below. But I have to film a video for that for this week, make my podcast outline, and then I'm going to do a little bit of brainstorming for different reels that I want to make next week. I've got this week planned out, but I find that working a week ahead on those helps me kind of get in the headspace. So writing a to-do list is that girl behavior. So, and I find that filling it out the night before makes me less anxious the next morning because I already have a game plan and have some expectations written down for myself. So to-do lists are essential to being that girl, getting your life together, and just generally feeling less anxious and overwhelmed with your to-do list for the week. So now that we've discussed that, I'm gonna finish my toast, answer some emails, and check in with you after I pick up my Sprouts order. I feel like every time I appear on the screen, I'm in a different outfit, but I put a little flannel on to keep me warm. I was outside reading for a little bit. Just getting a little chilly in here since I put the air on, so I needed a little bit of something extra. But next up on my to-do list today is to put my laundry away. I just got back from a trip. I visited a friend in LA this last weekend. I had some laundry to do, and now that my athletic wear is dry, we're gonna put it away. But before I do that, I just wanna sh put this little thought out there that being that girl isn't about having an aesthetic. It isn't about looking clean or having an organized apartment or feeling like you have your life together. It's really just about taking care of yourself and doing the things that make you feel good. For me, that's nourishing my body with good foods that have a lot of nutrients that make me feel energized and full. Another thing that I do is try to keep my space clean, not because I feel pressured to have it look nice, but because when my space is clean, my mind is more organized and I can focus on the task at hand. If my space is dirty and I'm trying to work on a project that has a deadline, odds are I'm going to get distracted and start cleaning my space as opposed to working on the thing that I need to be doing. So keeping, so keeping a clean space is something that I do to be that girl or 
rather just take care of myself and my mental health. Another thing that I try to prioritize daily and weekly is movement of some sort, whether that's yoga. I love to take Wendy on at least one walk a day, especially when the weather's nice like today. Get outside, get some sunshine, get some fresh air in your lungs, as well as working out, obviously. I love to go to the gym, I love to work out, but just focusing on the things that really make you feel your best and make you feel like you can function your best, especially for me, since I am home all day, it's really important that I stay on top of those things because I don't really have a boss or anyone like checking in on me daily. I have to do that for myself. So the things that I'm sharing with you in this video are not to encourage you to, to have some sort of aesthetic or anything like that, but really just to encourage you to reflect on what habits do you have daily, weekly, monthly, yearly that make you feel good. And maybe what are some of the habits that you have that don't make you feel the best, but you still give your time to, and how can you make swaps and changes so that they benefit you better than the ones you have now. So that's kind of my little spiel on that girl. Um, it's really just something that society has branded as like, do you have your life together? And I feel like that looks different for everyone. So I hope that this video just kind of gives you a different perspective on that. And I also hope that this video doesn't make you fall victim to fitting all of those like clean girl, it girl, that girl, whatever, that girl, you should be that girl for yourself. And the version of yourself that takes care of yourself, that prioritizes yourself, that takes proactive care of your body, of your mind, of your space, of your relationships, of all of the things that matter most to you. So those are just kind of my thoughts on that girl. But I will say that gorgeous, gorgeous girls put their laundry away when it's done and they don't let it sit there for three or four days. Cause whenever I do that, and every time I walk past the clean laundry, I just kind of feel bad about myself. Like I'm not capable of taking care of myself. And that's not really a positive mindset to find yourself in if you can do something about it. And I can, so I'm gonna put my laundry away. And then I think I have a couple packages to go pick up and my Sprouts order is ready. So that's what is on the menu for this afternoon. But I got a couple packages in and order from Sprouts. So we're gonna do Sprouts first so I can put it in the fridge. Um, but this isn't really like a grocery haul. This is just stuff that I use that was on sale for like a really good deal at Sprouts this week, plus a couple things that I needed. I was just kind of stocking up and grabbing a couple things that were running out of midweek. So not a grocery haul by any means, just stuff I picked up today. And the deal that they had going on that I was like really about was this Ancient Nutrition Multi-Collagen Protein. So good, I love this stuff. It's very clean and it's multi-collagen, which I talked about in another video, I think. But there are different types of collagen for different functions and multi-collagen has all five types. But they were buy one, get one free, and these are $40 a piece for not that many servings. Well, I guess there's 45 servings in here. The only thing is, I think these are unflavored. I usually do the vanilla ones. They're been my protein shake, so it doesn't really matter, but I think they are, like, I don't think they have a flavor, so that's fine. These were buy one, get one free, and so I got two for 45 bucks. That's 90 servings for 45 bucks. Too good of a deal, couldn't pass it up, and I wanted to get it before they sold out. And then I also got another buy one get one deal of these hemp hearts and Tristan and I both use these so we do go through them pretty quickly. I literally put these on anything because they don't really have a taste and they're not crunchy. It's almost like a seed or a nut. I really like these so I put them on a lot of different things and Tristan uses them in his overnight oats that he takes to school in the morning. So I grabbed two because again they were buy one get one free. I think they were $9, $9.99 for one so two for ten. Good deal to me. The last like deal thing that I got was this kefir. I really wanted the blueberry kind, but all they had was raspberry or strawberry. So I got, oop. So I got two raspberry. I love this stuff, put it in my smoothies. I'm gonna make a smoothie after this, maybe I'll show you, but um, I've done multiple videos recently where I show my smoothie recipe, and this is key. It has a lot of really great probiotics, great for your gut. I'm sorry, Winnie keeps squeaking, squeaking her toys, but I was saying, I don't think I drink this on its own, 
but I do like it in my smoothies, so I got two of these, but I'm gonna get one free. And then I also got some more peanut butter, because when I was making my toast this morning, I realized that we were almost out of peanut butter, so I grabbed a new one. This isn't the same kind, but I do really like Sprouts peanut butter. I picked up an iron supplement, because I know my iron's really low, and from what I've been reading, it's an important thing to supplement as you're getting off birth control, so I kind of wanted to start a little bit before and continue taking it after I get my birth control out later this month. So I just got this brand, it's Soul Array. I've never tried it before, but it was the least expensive for the most amount of capsules and it had good reviews. So I got this. And then other things, I just got a couple things of fruit for my yogurt bowls because the raspberries were starting to get bad. And I learned my lesson because I bought a two pack from Trader Joe's. It's like double the size of this and they went bad before I could finish them. Granted, I was out of town this weekend. So on a normal week, I probably could finish them, but I didn't. So I just got one pack today. And then I also got a container of strawberries for my yogurt bowls as well. And then we got some more bananas because I'm sure you saw earlier, we literally have like half, we have like multiple halves of bananas. I'm gonna put them in my smoothie, but I really needed some more bananas. These are weirdly like freezing cold. These bags must have been in the fridge or something, but these bananas literally feel like they've been in the freezer. That's very strange. I'm kind of pissed because I wanted the, I forget what the brand is, but the wild blueberries and they didn't have them when I placed my order online and I didn't realize how bag small this bag was. This is literally gonna be like two, maybe three smoothies worth. Um, but frozen blueberries, I'm gonna try to get, I think the brand is Wyman's. I don't know, but they didn't have any and I had already placed my order and it wouldn't let me delete it from my order. I had to pick something else and these were cheaper. So I went with them. Winnie. So that's what I got at Sprouts. Oh my God, that is a huge raspberry. I'm gonna show you my other two packages real quick. Very excited about this one. It looks like got a little beat up in the mail. It's my book of the month club. So new books for the month. I'm currently reading this Sally Rooney, Beautiful World, Where Are You? I'm not very far in, as you can see. I think I started last night. I'm really liking it so far. My sister recommended me this book. I got it and then I put it on my shelf to be read. And then, my friend's boyfriend recommended that Tristan and I watch Normal People on Hulu, and we did, and we loved it. And it's written, it's a show adaptation of a book written by the same author. So I was really excited that I had this book already and wanted to start reading it immediately after finishing the show. I'm really enjoying it so far. If you're not familiar with her, she kind of writes books not that have like a really juicy plot line or a really intense climax of the plot. It's more just like, I don't wanna use the phrase normal people cause that's the name of one of her books, but I think that really encapsulates like her writing style. It's supposed to be very believable, very real life, just following the lives of people. It doesn't necessarily have to be like juicy or dramatic. There's twists and turns, but it's not something that's gonna keep you on the edge of your seat. Like say something like Verity by Colleen Hoover or like a lot of Colleen Hoover books. Hers is more just like, there are like ebbs and flows of the story, but they're not so dramatic. So I really like it, it's very insightful and she kind of just like shares things in a way that you can personally relate to, I guess. I'm a big fan, that is not part of my package, but okay, so my actual book of the month of the five you can choose from is The Golden Couple. And I think I remember reading, it has something to do with like a relationship therapist and like trying to create the perfect marriage, I think. I will report back, so follow me on Instagram and I will give you my thoughts on this book after I read it, which is gonna be my next book. And then I got this book because it's been highly raved about and I just think he's very interesting. Agree with their lifestyles or not, I do think this family is very interesting and insightful and I think we have something to learn from them one way or another. So I got Will's, I think this is his memoir, his autobiography, if you will. Um, so again, I will read this and report back on it. Very interested to see what I actually think of this book because I've heard mixed reviews, most of them are good, but heard mixed reviews. So that was that package. Last package, I'm not gonna try these on right now, maybe later in this video, maybe not. I might save it for tomorrow. Don't you like how I said we were gonna do sprouts first so I could put the stuff in the fridge and then I didn't put it in the fridge? Um, Bex and I went shopping this weekend when I was in LA and I had all these yoga pants and Bex was like, where did you get those? And I told her that my mom got me them from Athleta a couple of years ago. So we went in there because she wanted to look for a pair and I ended up ordering two pairs online only because they didn't have smalls in the store. And these are definitely different from the ones that I have, like the design's been updated, but they just fit me really nicely and I liked their colors. 
This is the first one. It's like this nice berry color, and I just think their flares are really cute. The, the thing that I like about the pair that I have right now is they don't have any branding on them, so I just prefer that. These do have a little Athleta tab on the back, but they are super cute. And then this other pair I'm very excited about. This pair was kind of pricey, but this other pair that I got was on sale for 40 bucks. I don't know if they're still on the website or not, but you guys can go check. It's just Athleta, Athleta's website. Um, but I just thought these were so unique and I really wanted them. So I bought them because they were on sale. This packaging is so, so strange. Sorry for all of these noises. But they're this like really cool, like cool light blue color. I just love the flares on these. I think these are the best yoga pants on the market currently. Although I'm really waiting for Gymshark to come out with a pair because you know I will be wearing those more often than i have been wearing these pause sets i just really love a yoga pant recently i think they're super cute i think they're fun i think they're trendy and i think they're comfortable so i got two new pairs of yoga pants and i'm excited about it and i think they're cute for spring so now i'm going to make a smoothie and read a little bit more of my book and i think tristan's coming home soon and then we're going to go to the gym okay before i make my smoothie i have to show you winnie's new toys she wants to give you a little haul of her own from the pet store so her first toy is this kettlebell which she really wants to play with but i told her to leave it so don't touch it um it's this 250 pound kettlebell i just thought it was really funny and she was sniffing on it in the store and then to counteract her little weight training sessions we're gonna start doing some meditation with this little guy he's really cute i just thought it was funny she doesn't usually get bigger stuffed toys like this so i'm hoping she's gentle enough with them and then I call her Smooshy most of the time when I'm not calling her Winnie. And this doesn't say Smooshy, it says Smoochy. But it was really cute and it was Valentine's Day themed. And she is a fan of plush toys. I've just never gotten her ones this big, but they were cute. So she's just being her little angel with all of her new toys from the pet store. Thank you guys for listening and watching my haul. Does anyone else's dog do this? You give them something and then... They just drop it and look at you to pick it up. Are you going to get that? Are you going to get that? There you go. And ready? I give it less than 20 seconds and it will be on the floor again. <laughs> you are a little bit ridiculous. There you go. Okay, smoothie is done. I'm about to read my book. And I did, in fact, put these pants on. And they are so stinking cute. I got the tall. I would recommend getting the tall because Bex got the regular ones. We're about the same height. Bex got the regular ones and she had to return them and order the talls online. I don't think you can get talls in store, but they are super duper cute. I've been going to read my book for a little bit, drink my smoothie, and wait for Tristan to get home. And then we're going to go to the gym. So I'll take you along. going to talk about that gorgeous gorgeous girls do not pick their face it just hurt and i thought i was relieving pressure but it just made it worse so apologies my face is a little red but i'm moisturized and i'm gonna self tan later so i always like shave and moisturize like four ish hours before i know i'm gonna put myself tanner on so i did that and now i'm having my dinner i've got this beautiful pasta salad that i made it's bonza cherry tomatoes zucchini 
red onion and then the marinated fresh mozzarella from Trader Joe's. That's the key ingredient. You can add whatever else you want, but I'm kind of a picky eater when it comes to cold vegetables. So that's what I'm having. I'm also about to crack open this ginger lemon olipop. I'm actually doing a brand deal with them on Instagram. Nothing is live yet, but stay tuned over there because I will have a discount code for them. And I've been drinking this for like a month now. I actually started drinking it right before they reached out to me. I don't think I even posted about it or anything. So I'm very excited about this little collaboration that I'm doing because this stuff is super good. They have so many good flavors. My favorite are grape, root beer, and orange. Ginger lemon is good, but I have to be in the mood for something like lighter and fresher, but they really just taste like soda and they have less than four grams of sugar in all the different flavors and nine grams of fiber. So they also have prebiotics. So I love that, but I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and my Olipop. I'm FaceTiming my sister right now. I put her on mute and she put me on mute so you can't hear us but I'm gonna chat with her and then Tristan will be home from practice and we're gonna watch some TV and get ready to go to bed might read a little bit more of my book loving it so far I talked about it earlier but that's gonna be the end of this video thank you guys so much for tuning in with me sitting down with me spending your day with me love and appreciate you all so very much and I will see you in the next video bye